Portland Thorns FC. Lindsay Horan, uh, both announcing that she is jet uh, getting set to join Olympic Lyonnais on loan. Uh, this has actually been rumored for a little while. It's something that we've actually touched on a little bit before in the past. Uh, uh, right, Lisa? Just talking a little bit as, you know, perhaps, you know, just a rumor, something that we just thought we could uh, potentially happen uh but Lindsay Horan six seasons with the Thorns uh 87 match appearances 25 goals returning to France for the first time since actually leaving Paris Saint-Germain in 2016 and it's a big deal you know I, I don't yeah. know if people are um recognizing how how big that is you know 27 years old I think for a lot of uh women's pro athletes who are at this type of level that Haren uh, is currently at really kind of some prime entering sort of the prime of her career. And she's going to be doing this now with Leon uh, through at least the halfway point of 2023. So it's just uh, within this announcement uh, or during this announcement of her making her departure to be with Leon, uh, the thorns also made the additional news that Lindsay Horan uh, signed an extension with Portland. So, you know, in 2020, there was a lot of news around the fact that the Portland franchise had specific contracts for these players, for Lindsay Horan, for Crystal Dunn, right? These are contracts that were directly with the club. And so with Horan expressing this desire to perhaps return to France and now this coming to fruition, uh, that initial contract, it sounds like that has been sort of restructured a little bit and an extension was also signed in line with uh, this, this loan to uh, Lyon. So while being in Lyon for 2023, intentions to eventually return and that will be with Portland through 2025. So big, big deal. Finally, we're talking about rumors and another one uh, come coming to life, Lisa. <laughs> I like when we talk about the rumors because this one has been a rumor for pretty much the entirety of the 2021 season because we would have people tweeting at us at attacking third. What's happening with Lindsay Horan? Is she leaving? Is she staying? Will, will we have her for the championship? Um, and she stayed throughout the entirety of the 2021 season and now making the decision um, to head over to, to France and go to Lyon. And for a player like this, Sandra, you did touch on this, 27 years old, Really, she is at the prime and the peak of her career right now with the United States women's national team. She has become the playmaker, the the number one player that they need on the pitch to help them succeed. She can play an attacking midfield position and be very creative if all of the United States women's national team sixes and defensive mids go down. She can slot into that more defensive midfield role. She took the number 10 jersey and, and that was handed off to her from Carly Lloyd. She is a very special player that has a tremendous skill set on the pitch. And we've seen what she has done at Portland for the last six seasons, continued to have them be one of the most competitive clubs in the league and continuously competing at the highest level for championships and even helping to win them. So for her to now take her skills and, and go to Lyon, I think will be so good for her career because she's already played at PSG and she's played the European game and it taught her different things. And every time yeah. you can go into a new experience like that and come out with different skill set, a different take on the game, more knowledge about the game by learning from the players around you, you grow as a player. And if there's one thing about Lindsay Horan, it's that she wants to be one of the best in the world. And she is on her way there by taking herself out of the NWSL away from Portland, a place that, has most definitely become comfortable for her over the last handful of years. And putting herself in an uncomfortable situation in Lyon will only help her grow and get better and challenge her to be a better soccer player, to be a better leader, to be a better follower, uh, because all of those skills are so important. Uh, of course, with the hopes of coming back to the NWSL, joining Portland again, um, by growing a little bit after going to Lyon. I like this a lot. I'm excited to watch her over there. Of course, I'm sad yeah. for um, us covering the NWSL as closely as we do that I won't be able to watch her and analyze her game as professionally as I do when she is in the NWSL. Now I definitely become more of a fan watching her in Lyon, but I'm happy for her and, and the growth of her and hopefully the growth of United States American soccer because of trades and loans like this one. Yeah, absolutely. I'm mean, I agree with you on all that 100%. I mean, and it's, 
you know, her going back now at, at this stage in her career, it's, she's not the same player she was when she initially left France, right? So it'll be interesting to sort of see her game, how it adapts or adjusts to, or how the French league sort of adjusts to a Lindsay Horan at, at 27 years old back in their league, right? So it'll be it'll be nice to, to see it. And also with this news, it maybe sort of opened up or answered some other different questions in regards to other signings that Portland has made. They uh, announced just before Lindsay Horan's departure, the signing of Japanese international uh, Hina Sungita, a 24-year-old Japanese international, signing a three-year deal, uh, a transfer fee utilizing some allocation money uh, to INAC Kobe. Uh, so it's going to be Portland for a long time. This is an investment in this particular player. Uh, and there was a, some a reaction around it immediately when this signing was announced, like where this particular player was going to be utilized. And now with the departure of Haran, maybe we're starting to get some of those answers mm -hmm. a little bit more. Maybe this midfielder is going to be used maybe more in an attacking sense uh, than, than anything else. A very, very good playmaker. So that's exciting for Portland. But probably the biggest news, right, um, alongside the retirement of Celeste Bure, uh, who is making her departure as a Portland Thorns, was uh, a contract extension, right, for uh, the <laughs> famously known Christine Sinclair signing an extension through 2022 with an option for 2023. And uh, I don't think anything, I don't think you can get any more Portland Thorn than that, <laughs> right? In terms of making sure that uh, Sinclair stays right where she's supposed to be. Yeah, I think if if Portland fans are listening and hearing this news for the first time, you're heartbroken that Lindsay Horan is headed overseas, but you feel a sense of security knowing that christine sinclair is still around she is not going anywhere not yet she's staying with portland uh staying in the game that was a, another rumored topic of discussion if if this could be the end for christine sinclair go out on top nope she's back um extension through 2022 and I, you love to see the little option for 2023 of course a lot can change in a year but um this is, it's great to see Christine Sinclair and also uh, signing Hina Sugiti, um, the Japanese international player. I think that this player filling in the holes that Lindsay Horan is maybe leaving behind might not happen as seamlessly as Thorns will hope it does and, and Rain Wilkinson and Karina LeBlanc. However, this is a really good get for Portland because um, a player like, Sugiti can do a lot. She has a lot of international experience at the Olympics and at World's Cup. She can play defensively. She can play more attacking minded, almost like a Lindsay Horan. I, I wouldn't compare them too much, though, um, as they do have different abilities on the field. But the transition for her might be difficult heading into the NWSL. That is such a competitive physical game. So a little bit of adjustment there, but um, Portland, they're, they're making a lot of moves and these moves coming later in, in the end of the trade window, right before the start of preseason.